happened over the night. Jean Carroll, aka Miss $83 million heir, uh, the new Trump appointee to the Trump's lottery, where you get to sue him and get to take as much as you want. She went on MSNBC and she had an absolute blinder. I hope they give this woman the mic at every turning point they possibly can. This woman needs a podcast to show how totally sane she is. Here's the first question she's asked. So apparently she came out with when she was going, won the money, that she was gonna give some to support women. She was gonna give to support little women everywhere. But oops, maybe we're not supporting women and we're just, just like me, white trash deep down inside, that when we get a lot of money, we're gonna act like we just got a lot of money. We don't know what to do with it. Here's this clip and it's just fantastic. Check it out. You've talked about using some of Trump's money you're about to get um, to help shore up women's What's up, rights. Junior? Do you know what that might be? What that might look like? Yes, or, Rachel. Or... Yes. Oh, Tell me. Yes. I had such such great ideas for all the good I'm going to do with this money. Tell us. First thing, Rachel. Yes. You and I are going to go shopping. Oh. We're going to get completely <laughs> new wardrobes. We're going to buy a jet shoes, ski. Motorcycle for Crowley. New fishing rod yeah, yes. for Robbie. Rachel, what fishing, do you Fishing, shopping. <laughs> it's yours, Nothing. Rachel. Anything and you want. And, uh, France? You want France? You want to go fishing nope. in France? No? Oh. no. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. That's okay. a joke. <laughs> I like that her uh, little entourage. That's the joke, actually. She's still uh, deeply traumatized by the event, being fornicated with with Trump. So much trauma that she's on MSNBC, having the time of her life, now that she's entered sainthood for the left. I christen thee, ha, 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 ha. You are now a part of the left. Boom. <laughs> God, what the frick? I'll get anybody possibly watch this interview and go, okay, maybe we shouldn't be celebrating this case because it's going to get appealed immediately. I would just show this clip if I was Trump. Also, she continued. It was just nonstop. Nonstop, totally sane. I could tell this girl over here on this side, she's starting to lose it. She's like, why did we go on this show for the love of God? Why did I bring this woman with me? Why are we allowing her to open her effing mouth about this kind of stuff? It's all woman panel, so much equality. This is what equality looks like. Two blondes and a brunette. Okay. Okay. She just looks, look at her. Look at her face. She looks like she wants to die. She's like, I guess I'll kiss my career goodbye today. Okay. Here's this. And together, um, uh, this team of yes. brilliant young people wow. have, as you said, um, stood up to the man. <laughs> Who, by the way, Rachel, is not even there. Whoa. He's nothing. He is what? without, he is like a walrus snorting <laughs> and like a rhino flopping his hand. It was, he what? is not there. That was the surprising thing to me. Where is he? He's not even there. He's a figment of our imagination. Dude, I'm, am I tripping or is Trump even real right now, dude? <laughs> Look at her. It's my, she is my favorite. She just like, she looks like she's done. She looks like she just made a devastating career choice that she can never recoup from. She is going to be thinking about this the rest of her life. The day my career took a u-turn for the bad i mean and it got bad <laughs> the walrus we all know she'll never see a dime since junior yeah <laughs> no way just show this video i mean it's just so ridiculous why do people do this you win a case you win a bunch of money and then you open your freaking mouth close your mouth like be a, a be a normal scam artist like the rest of us close your mouth and just Live a, li live a great life and don't tell anybody about it. And people ask you, did Trump really touch you? Did that really happen? Are you still devastating? You just say yes. And then you just keep walking. No, she's like, let's go get fishing boats. Let's go get a condo. Let's go get a new house in Paris. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I mean, this woman is nonstop. <laughs> She really must have a good drug dealer. Yeah, it's called Pfizer. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, her, it's her general. It's her PCP. Um, okay, and then she just keeps going on because 
once you're on a blinder, why stop? You know, why stop at any point? Keep it going, double down, go crazier. Well, on, on that point, talking about, you know, being face to face with him, being in the same physical space with him for the first time since when you say he assaulted you in, in 1996. Right. Uh, what you're describing there Still my uh, in terms of him being nothing, him feeling like an animal, him feeling yeah. not intimidating, was that a shock to you? Because I mean, yeah. your guts no. here. Your no, he's not intimidating at all. No, not at all. Were you intimidating in that past life when that happened? Oh, no, y yes. <laughs> No, not intimidating at all. I faced my acute, my my rapist face to face, and I wasn't intimidated. It's just, you know, if you had any thoughts like maybe, maybe, maybe this really did happen. Maybe Trump was like this total douchebag back in the day, and this happened, and you finally get down the bottom of this. But then you watch this interview, and there's no way any th person with a logical thinking brain, with any ounce of just thinking outside of yourself and your own biases that you would think okay maybe she's crazy and maybe we maybe we push this on now your bravery here includes the physical bravery about being around him again it sounds like it didn't go the way you expected it to once you were in the same room no rachel i was terrified i was i was uh, just a bag of sweating corpuscles as we prepared for trial and a bag of sweating corpuscles <laughs> Did she call him an animal? Yes. Oh, that's on purpose, 100%. You want to visualize Trump as an animal on the left. You don't want to visualize him as a human being. And uh, three day, four days before trial, I had an actual breakdown. I lost my ability to Here comes speak. a new joke. I Come lost on. my words. Say I couldn't it. talk. And, She's like, and what are you going to say? On. It was, that's how frightened I was. But oddly, we went into court. Here we go. Robbie took... Uh, the lectern. I sat in the witness chair like this, and she said, uh, "Miss Carroll, good morning. Money. Would you please spell your name for the court?" And and I said, "Amazingly, I looked out, yes. and he was nothing. Just nothing. He was nothing. He, he was, was a nothing. phantom. He, it was the he people was around him. It's almost like I've never seen him before. <laughs> who were giving him power? He himself <laughs> was nothing. Just so it little." Was, an astonishing um i didn't even recognize him uh uh discovery for me he's <laughs> who nothing. is this person we don't need to be afraid of him yeah because i don't know who he is did i get the wrong person and if this is an indicator that this woman is even if, okay okay let's let's just give her the benefit of the doubt what if this happened all you have to do is play this clip in appeals court i mean I, i'm sure her lawyers right now are like Ugh. Why did we team up with this lady? She's nuts. She's clearly going to make us lose this in the end. Trump will never pay a dime. And if he does pay a dime, it's because his lawyer sucks. And she's just hot. And that's all she has going for her.